What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. It is 6pm on Thursday and we're going to see what new things we've got for today. There's no daily objective, which makes me think, wait what? Headliners mystery walk? Wait, was that already there? It was, wasn't it? For the Prime Gold Players Pack. God damn it. Silver Sensation, Irdivisi Foundations. I don't think there's nothing new. There's no daily objectives. We're going to have to come back to the objectives. Obviously, we're going to have new marquee matchups for today, guys. Um, but hopefully some other stuff as well. There is... Uh... Oh, let's go! Tavernier. The best right back in the game has been given the Hullet card. Two segments to complete him. Three star, three star. The, guys, I have his 80... Wait. Isn't the headliner supposed to be above the next card? Is it? No. Doesn't he already have an 86? Oh, 84 is his best card. This has got two pace, two shooting, two passing, three physical, two defending, and two dribbling. This headliner card is a banger. This card in general is a banger. Could genuinely play anywhere. Three star, three star. You probably don't want to play him at striker, but physical is outrageous. Defending, very good. Dribbling, very good. Passing, very good. Pace, exceptional. We love that. Two segments for him. An 83 rated with an inform. And an 85 rated. EA know. EA know that he's overpowered as all hell. That's why they charge so much for him. He's going to be expensive. But I tell you what. This will be the best right back in the game. For as long as you want it to be the best right back in the game. It is a good card. A very good card. We've got Iago Aspect. There's a week there as well. So you can grind him nice and easy. A1 team of the week upgrade there. Um, this is going to cost... An 83 rated squad with 30 chemistry. Not too bad. And then, of course, you can put the inform into Tavernier. How do you say his name? Tavernier? Tavernier. 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 See? Um, right, let's pop these boys in. So we don't need we only need 30 chemistry here, which is going to be easy peasy to get to. We should have a whole bunch, a whole bunch of untradeable 83s. And then a couple 82s to finish it off. Um, pop those bad boys in there pop him in there that's 83 34 there we go so one team of the week player untradeable 81 plus rated is it any 81 plus or is it from a specific team of the week it's not repeatable oh that's really sad um, there's headliners challenge for a mega pack headliners challenge for a jumbo gold pack Erling Haaland 81 82 Jonathan Dos Santos still there from before marquee matchups for a prime gold players pack Sheik Tass versus Galatasaray for a premium Electrum. Porto versus Benfica for a small rare gold. That's not a bad one. Leverkusen versus Dortmund for a rare mixed. And Liverpool versus United for a premium gold players pack. Not bad at all. And then a, a prime gold players pack to complete the whole lot. In terms of league SBCs. Oh, there's new ones. Let's go. Oh, very nice. Jumbo premium gold players pack for the three of them. So they've put in the Pro League, the Super League... And the Eredivisie. Let's have a look at what the tradable offers are. How many tradable packs? So silver tradable, gold tradable, two untradables, two more tradables, two more untradables, two more tradables, two more untradables, two more tradables, another tradable and another untradable, two more untradables. So it's, it's, a, it's a, is this 20 teams? I think it's a 9-11 split. No, it's a 10-8 split. Uh, so eight tradables and 10 untradables. Um... I, I like, I, I genuinely, genuinely... Oh, the Team of the Week thing's not new. Oh, never mind. Um, we're still going to open the pack anyway. I genuinely love the fact that there's loads of League SBCs there again now. I know that it's not what it used to be for League SBCs, but we have found a, a formula that is working to be able to grind these. Uh, the Eredivisie in there. The major packs aren't necessarily the best. Um, these minor packs, I don't like the fact that there's so many silvers kind of turns me off of a little bit because you, like especially the untradeable silver packs are just a nightmare to deal with but there's not so many teams you know only 18 teams 21 teams in the super league i mean we're gonna have to see we'll, we'll grind we'll grind and grind and we'll see we'll see what we see and we'll say what we see 21 squads though again a good mix of tradable and tradables but not really ideal for us what we want um, no new icon SBCs. 
and then in terms of life so that this tavernier card brilliant he is going to be expensive but he's he is insane his 84 rated card i only took out of the team because i put claver into the team who i then took out of the team because i put theo hernandez headliner into the team otherwise he would be in my team um yeah suddenly regretting doing claver you and me both oh i didn't even get a walk out there that's too bad um yeah, Kleber's one of those... Oh, God. Kleber's one of those guys that's like... Was it... Oh, look at that. Two 100k packs. Five of these packs. You know what? Let's open them. Let's, let's, let's open them. Let me, let me pop a few more feed points on. Just so that we... Uh, just so that we... Um, can open the 100ks and those weird ones. And let's see if those weird ones generate us any luck. Kle Kleber's good... And obviously, having squad options is good. But I personally think that... I personally think that Tavernier, his 84, was insane for me. I'm not even a walkout. Was insane for me. And so, it's one of those ones where it's like... It, Tavernier could genuinely be in your club. Oh, nice, Godin. Until the end of the game cycle. Uh, like, at least until team of the season. And the reason being is obviously he links to a few players, but when Rangers get their fifth win, which they will, he'll go up to an 87 and he is scoring goals for a right back. He's getting, he's just having mad, mad season. It wouldn't surprise me if he got three, two, three more upgrades throughout the course of the season. Um, yeah, Kleiber was only 70k. So, you know, it's not, not that bad in that sense, right? 81 plus rare players, seven packs. Let's open these. See what we've got here. And then I'm guessing that there's nothing in milestones or objectives. Oh, walk out. Come on. Come on. Oh, just right wing. Guy Barla. Better than a kick in the teeth, isn't it? Yeah, Hullet Gang, 99 Stam. Like, ooh, two walkouts, one pack. Let's go. Um, yeah, he's got a lot going for him, which is why he's expensive. Which is why he's expensive. Um, because... Uh, EA just know full well he's he's a monster. He's an absolute beast. You thought it was four wins? Is it four wins? Yeah, four wins. Either way, Rangers will get the four wins. Tavernier, is that how it said? Tavernier. 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 All right, Tavernier. We got it right. Tavernier. Boom, walk out. No, just kidding. Um, Can you play him CDM? You can genuinely play him anywhere. I, I genuinely believe that. Oh. Even though his finishing isn't perfect and he's got three star, three star, he's probably better than some strikers in the game at striker. Um, so yeah, I, I, I rate him very, very highly. We'll go and have a look at his in games in a second and, and the chem star. Ooh, let's go. Ooh, la, 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 let's go. And um, you know the chem star tavern tavernier top scorer and assister at the moment in the Scottish league. That's nuts, isn't it? That is nuts. So these packs. Oh, walk out. Let's go. God damn it, man. I was hoping for a... Uh... Oh, God. I was hoping for a... Um... One of those new cards. Oh, man. 581s and 186. Um, but yeah, I, I, I can assume that there's no objectives, which is so sad, EA. Come on, man. Yeah, no, no new objective and no new master. And that is so sad. But new league SBCs and absolutely mental having here. SBC. He will 100% get upgrades. This card is nutty good. Pop an anchor on him. Nutty good. Pop a shadow on him. Ooh, ooh. For the defensive stats, I think shadow might be there, but I, I do like aggression. 99 strength, 99 stam. Stand and slide tackle is very good. Interception is okay. Defensive awareness is pretty poor. Jillian balance is brilliant. Passing is very good for a fullback, specifically crossing. His shooting isn't bad. Like, look look at this. Look at this. Hold on. Look at that. He actually is an 88.4 rated striker. He is going to be better than so many attackers. What's, what's the best? What's the, what, an 89 left wing on basic. A 90 left wing on finisher. A 90 cam on dead eye. That's not a bad card. Like, that is better than so many players in this game. Because of his physicals and stuff... As a secondary CDM, he would work incredibly well. 
Where else do we get him up to? Powerhouse is not a bad one. Only gives five defensive awareness, though. Maestro is not that bad. 89 centre mid. Engine's not that bad. Really good pace, agility, and stuff. Like, this, this card, I like Sentinel on him a lot. Plus 10 defensive awareness. Good physical. Sentinel's got to be the chem style. Yeah, his total in-game stats are... What, what is his total in-game stats? 2 five, three, five. He might be one of the best. Guardian's not bad there. You, you, genuinely, you genuinely can play this player in any single position that you want and he will do a job, including striker. Not saying that you should play him at striker, but with a sniper, no, not a sniper, with a finisher, he goes up to an 88 striker. That pace, that agility and balance, 97 shot power, 90 finishing, he'll be a beast. He would be a beast. Um, if we look at players, all players, and base them off in-game stats... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where is he? There he is. Look at that. Two, four, six, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's only thirteen players in the entire game that have more in game stats than him. And there's a Kuna who was a beast of an SBC as well. And this Tavernier is live. He will get upgrades. He will one hundred percent go from an 86 to an 87 because Rangers will win those games, right? He will likely get upgrades because he'll get another inform or two. Like, he will end up being just a machine. And for whatever the price is, at 200k, that is a very, very good price for what I genuinely believe will be one of the best fullbacks in the game and tell team of the season. I think that is a brilliant, brilliant value price. Um, so yeah, we've got the new league SBCs. We've got the new marquee matchups, which is just your standard. Look at that. Big, big fan from Footbin players on, on Tavernier there. So that is going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed the content, you want to drop a thumbs up, would be appreciated. And I'll see you guys for the next video. For now, I'm out. Peace.